Hi guys, my name is Kate. I'm her fiance, Sarah. And today we are going to film a Q&A. Okay, so I went to Instagram and had you guys send in some questions. So I'm going to read those off and then we're gonna answer them because that's how Q&As work. You don't say! <laughs> All right, so the first question is, when did you both know you were gay? Okay, I'll go first. So I knew I was a freshman in high school and I, like as a child, I never thought that I liked women, but we were watching The Island, if anyone's ever seen that movie before, and it was in bio class. I remember it was third period every day, and ever since I saw Scarlett Johansson, I was like, what the, can I curse? Yeah. I said, what the fuck, why do I feel like this? And I couldn't wait for science class because I just wanted to watch her on the screen, and now I'm engaged to a woman. Oh my God. <laughs> so I would say that I knew I was gay, like had an idea when I was younger and saw Chrissy Alley and Cheers, and then, yeah, and then um, after that, when I was like a freshman in high school, all my friends called me out for it, because I just like had no interest in guys, and then I like brushed it off, and then knew for sure the first time I ever kissed a girl, when Which I was, was like, I was 20. That was years later though. Right. So you knew for a while. Yeah, I'd pretty much known. I remember looking at myself in the mirror and being like, you're gay, and then me being like, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, the next question is, uh, what are your Philly recommendations? For vegan options, when you're coming to eat here, I would say definitely if you can get a seat at Miss Rachel's Pantry. True. Like veg is really, really good. Charlie was a Center is good, and it's also a cocktail bar. Um, and they have like the best potato croquettes I've ever had in my entire life. And then, True. what else? Hip City Veg is fast food. It's really, really good. Bar Bon Bon if you want like a Mexican. V Street, V Street, Whiz Kid. About v Street. My favorite restaurants are Sampan, Mixto. Mixto is, they have the best margaritas and they have really great brunch and they're like Cuban, Mexican, Guatemalan, and I think Spanish, and that's why they call it Mixto. And Double Knot's also really great. Those are my favorite restaurants in Philly. And also like Sampan and Double Knot both have like tons and tons of vegan options. So when we both want to get something that we like but don't know where to go, we go to Sampan. And Giorgio and Pine. Homemade also Italian. Vegan options. Yeah, they do. Vegan yogi. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what are your zodiac signs? I'm a Pisces. And I am a Leo. That one's quick. Could you have guessed? <laughs> How do you work through fights? The best advice I could give is don't raise your voice. Don't like accuse someone of doing something. Just say, it makes me feel this way when you do something like this. That way you can have a conversation or not end up screaming at each other. Yeah, we have like a rule of no yelling at each other. That's like a really big thing in our relationship. Like I can't even remember the last time we raised our voices at each yeah. other. Um, and we don't swear at each other either. And if it ever gets to a point where we feel like that's gonna happen, we like take our space and like take time separately <coughs> so that we can like gather ourselves yeah. to be able to come back and have like a conversation. If, if there's an issue, like we try to make it a discussion before it's like a bigger issue. Yeah, and you have to remember that like, even if you don't agree with what the other person's upset about, like everyone's feelings are valid regardless. So yeah. like your opinion at that point won't matter, it won't make anything better if you fight against how they're feeling. Yeah, regardless. I think that's like the top thing. It's like yeah. knowing that like you might not agree with how they're feeling or understand how they're feeling, but that doesn't that mean doesn't that make how their right. feelings not valid. Yeah. Like, their feelings are 100% valid if that's how they're feeling. Exactly. Okay, so the next question is, what makes you laugh the most about each other? I'll go first. So what makes me laugh the most about Kate is, I'll be sitting on the couch and she'll either be, so our couch is set up here and then our kitchen is like, or no, our couch is here and our bathroom's right here. So if I'm in the sitting on the couch, I can see what's going on in the bathroom and vice versa. Sometimes she just gets in these weird ass moods where she'll just start like dancing really, really fucking funny and she wouldn't. <laughs> Shit like that. Ooh, yeah. The thing that makes me laugh the most about Sarah, um, I don't know, what do you do? Ew. I don't know, Sarah is funny. I always tell her that she ruined my sense of humor because yeah, I, I like to say that. did not laugh at the things that I laugh at now until I started dating her. And she, influential. She is. Everything she says, her responses to things, like how she thinks about things, it's, it's fucking funny. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> how do you have separate lives Outside of you have to remember when you're in a relationship that you're an independent person and Just because you're dating or you love each other regardless of how long you've been together doesn't mean that you have to do everything together And if someone wants to do something without you Let them do it like the worst thing you could ever do is like morph into the same person and then not know how to live your life without them Or like have it be an issue and she wants to or he wants to go out with their friends and you're all butthurt about it Like stuff like that. It's not you can't you have to stay independent we like our own things we don't always like want to watch the same thing. I don't know. We both have like our own separate like 
hobbies like, and interests like, yeah. and friends and like she can go out without me and I don't get I don't care like I would never I don't I think one of the things about us too is like I'm very introverted and I like to be home and I need more time like alone and she can be like out and about yeah. with people like and it's important for her to go like experience that and me also experience like time yeah. by myself and like we would never hold either of those needs against each right. other to, like I don't ever want to be Kate and Sarah tied together like I want to be able to be Kate and Sarah mm -hmm. and then like if we're together you just get double the fun <laughs> what is your Hogwarts house Gryffindor I'm also a Gryffindor shocking <laughs> next okay so this is all one question what is your favorite vegan bacon brand and where do you want to go on your honeymoon <laughs> you can start with a vegan bacon brand because you have really good vegan bacon that you make Megan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my favorite vegan bacon brand that I've ever tried is Sweet Earth. It's the one I like buy the most often. Um, it just hits right every time. On like anything too. Like you can crumble it, you can eat it plain, you can put it on a grilled cheese. It's fucking fire. And then where we want to go on our honeymoon, we haven't really decided yet, but like Greece has always been like Yeah, it's gonna be a month long, so we have yeah, lots that's of like, to choose. The one thing we know is that we wanna be so. gone for like a month and like want to go to I'll like experience as much and I would like to go can. to Italy. Well, baby, we'll do that for her. Okay. Okay, so. We don't know yet, but it's gonna be a long fucking time. Yeah, yeah, Greece will be in included for sure. When are you thinking of getting married? I'm gonna give Kate's ring her. I wanna give Kate, Kate her ring first, and then we'll start wedding planning. But Kate came up with. Right now, for a time frame, we are thinking of summer of 2021, but or like. September ish. Yeah, like mid end September. Not August. Mid-end 2021. We don't know. We're really enjoying this time of just being engaged and not planning and stressing about anything yeah. because it's fucking fun being fiancés. Like yeah, it's, it's really fun. Really, really, really fun. I yeah. didn't know it was going to feel like this, and it does, and we're just going to enjoy it as much as we fucking can. It feels like the next step. Like you said like a couple weeks ago, it feels like we like re-hit the honeymoon phase. or like Yeah, it feels like we just, just started dating again. Feel, yeah, it's interesting that that yeah. happened, but it's cool. I like it. Since we've gotten engaged, I feel like we like come home more and like hide away from people more. Not in like a bad way, but we're just like enjoying each other. We're happy, yeah. Again. Yeah. Not that we weren't before. No, it's no, no, so no, no, bad. No, no, no. But like not that we were enjoying each other before. It's just like a whole new level of like love and excitement. Like it's another step. Like you would celebrate every step. You of your officially agreed to yeah. be together forever. Is essentially. What Which it we is. always like, knew, but it's just more fun. It's than different when like it happens. Yeah. yeah. Will Kate's brothers be at your wedding? Yeah, they're gonna be in the wedding. Yeah, so my brothers are, a lot of people ask this. Um, it's just my parents who aren't accepting um, of our relationship and aren't involved like in my life and my mom's side of the family, but my brothers are all like fantastic and I'm obviously gonna ask them all to be a part of our wedding when it comes. Hopefully they don't see the video first. <laughs> well, they, they know, but oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, my brothers are fantastic. My like dad's side of the family is the best. Um, so all of them will be invited or a part of the wedding. We have. Couple of surprise questions coming from Lizzie Cruz and Abby Holmes. What's your major? Oh, I'm a teacher. Dropping out. <laughs> How many bags of dildos do you have? Well, it's actually one gigantic bag. What's your favorite vine? My favorite vine is when the chick is singing in her bathroom really, really, really loud, and her mom What's your goes, "Your favorite vine." Shut up! Time. And she goes, "Yes." Kate will put it at the link. The link will be at the bottom of this whole description. Say, the link will be in the description down below. The link will be in the description down below for Say, my favorite vibe. Subscribe vine. and hit the bell. Subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my leg neck. Ooh, that was a solid. And that also will be in the link below. Click the bell. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching our first Q&A. Oh yeah, oh, it wasn't our first Q&A, it was the first Q&A in a while. Yeah. It's our first Q&A as an engaged couple. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And what? That's it? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's been yeah, fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, please subscribe us. Sarah said 35 times. Um, and yeah, we'll be watch back. the vines. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Excuse me. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> um, we will be back with videos every Monday. All Thank right, you guys. Bye. Now close this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.